Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys have an awesome day today. And today I'm doing a video for one of my subscribers by the name of Scumbuster. I don't know if it's male or female, so I'm just going to say they. They asked me to do a video last week, and I've been trying to get in contact with them through the comments, but it just will not allow me to get in contact with you. I don't know if you blocked me or anything like that, but it's not allowing me to reply to your comment. But I still um, want to let you know that I am going to do this video, and I'm doing it right now for you. So I hope you're watching this video, and I hope you learn from it. First on my list will be I can't tell you when to forgive, but you must forgive if you want God to forgive you. That is a fact. It's, it's in the Bible. I really can't tell you, hey, you need to forgive them right now or next week or or a month or a year from now. I can't tell you when. Only, only your soul, your spirit, your mind can tell you that. I can't tell you that. All I know is you must forgive in order to be forgiven by God. Next on my list would be just because you forgive someone doesn't mean that you have to communicate with them. And you don't. I've forgiven uh, a few people in my life and I probably... Um, having told them and some i have told them to their face i forgive you like why you keep bringing that up i forgive you i just don't want to be associated with you anymore like i can forgive you i just don't want you a part of my life anymore like let go and let god and that's what i did i forgave i let go and i let god so peace be gone <laughs> next on my list will be Forgiving someone who caused a lot of pain to you feels like a heavy weight that has been lifted off of your shoulders. And it does. I promise you, I, I was so bitter and angry towards someone who caused so much pain. I couldn't believe that they did it. I couldn't believe that they would even think about doing it. And that they and when they did it, it was like, really? Me? Out of anybody else, me? You're going to do me like that? And I, I, I didn't understand it. But everything happens for a reason, you guys. Maybe it was meant for me to go through that pain to make me become the woman that I am right now. So I'm glad that I experienced the pain. And I'm glad that I was able to forgive. Because once I forgave that person, I instantly felt much better and i'm serious i felt much better like a lot of weight had been lifted off my shoulders i was carrying this heavy weight around because i was so bitter and didn't want to forgive and as soon as i realized that i had forgave this person i no longer felt like that anymore so you're going to feel much better when you do forgive next on my list will be when you forgive someone, you no longer feel that anger burning inside anymore. You know, you just think about it and it just it just makes you so mad. Like, oh, Lord, I, I just, I, I don't even want to see them. I better not see them. You know, it, it, it burns and burns and burns. And before you know it, a few years then went by and you're still feeling that same anger on the inside. Let it go, you guys. It's not worth it. You could be literally causing yourself um, some type of physical pain for all you know for carrying around such a, a, a heavy burden of anger. Let it go. Let it go. Next on my list would be when you forgive someone, I feel like God blesses you. This this is just my opinion, you guys. I'm not saying I read this in a Bible or anything like that. I just truly feel in my soul that once you forgive someone, he sends a blessing your way to show you 
that he's proud of you for forgiving someone. It's just me. I, 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 no one has ever told me this. I've never heard that. This is just something that I feel in my heart that God for, forgives us and he, he wants us to forgive others. So once we forgive others and he know and sees that we've uh, forgiven someone, he sends a, a little blessing, whatever it may be, to let you know he's proud of you. Just me, you guys. Um, last but not least, when you forgive, your life feels a little bit better. You smile more. And you feel happy. And I, I truly believe that. Like, how can you be happy and you're not forgiving someone? You're still holding on to that that grudge, that anger, that that heavy weight, that burden. Just let it go. And once you say, God, I'm giving this over to you, it's, 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 it's too much for me. I can't do it anymore. I'm going to give it to you, God. And once you do that, things just start to fall in place for you. You, you find yourself smiling more. You're happy, and there's nothing to be happy about. You're just happy that you're alive. Everything seems a lot better and a lot easier once you forgive. And before I end this video, I wanted to read a scripture from Colossians. I think it's 1, um, 13 through 14. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the son of his love in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. So I'm asking everyone who's watching this video or who will watch the video or who's thinking about watching the video, please forgive. We only have one life to live. And it's going to be a short life compared to eternal life. And in order to see that eternal life, you have to forgive. Let it go. And let God. I want to have everlasting life. So if me letting that little smile thing and pain that you caused to me, you can have it. You can have it. I want eternal life, everlasting life with God and I can't wait to see the face of my Savior Jesus Christ so you can have that I want everlasting life and I pray that you guys feel the same way know that you are worthy to be in heaven you guys have an awesome day and may God bless you